show you another example of getting some data from a REST API using R. I'm going to use the HTTR git function, and what this takes is a URL from the REST API, and then we're going to process the output from that, um, which is going to be JSON, in uh, using JSON Lite, and from JSON, and then raw to car. So let's see an example. So I know that there's a REST API for the uh, census data. So I'm just going to Google census API. And nice, first thing that comes up, it says available APIs. Let's hop on there. And I'm just playing around. I'm not really, you know, researching this. I just want to see if I can get some data off the census API. So, okay. Hey, it's got a lot of things. Let's go to this one, health insurance. Um, before I hop on here, you'll see it says, hmm, request a key. Maybe I need a key, but I'm not going to click that right now. I'm just going to head on in and let's take a look at it. And then I go further here. Okay. So I'm showing you this so you get a real world sense of like, what the documentation for these APIs can look like. Um, so it's got a lot of information. I'm kind of just scrolling through, trying to get a sense of this. And what I'd like to see are some examples. Ah, nice. They've got this thing down here with examples. Let's click on that. So what is this? So I don't know what it is, um, but let's click and see what happens. So they've given me an example, which is nice. They've got this key here suggesting I need a key, but let's click on it, see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that worked. You can see the URL up here, no key. So at this point, I'd probably Google Census API, do I need a key? And uh, if I were to do that, I'd find out that no, I don't need a key unless I'm hitting it a whole lot. So I'm not going to use a key. Um, it's easy to get. If you want to click that get a key, you can do that, but you don't need to if you're just doing a few. So I'm going to copy the URL and let's put it over into here. So put it there and we are going to run this run. Okay. And so it ran and now I do head dat and you can see it got the data that we, we saw when I ran it in the browser and it's returned it as a, what is that? Is that a data frame or is that a matrix? Looks like a, yeah, it's a matrix actually. Okay, it uh, returned it as a matrix in this case. So we could uh, turn that into a data frame using these as the column headings if we wanted. Before I leave this, let's just take a look at the structure of this URL. So let's see here. I think that is the base. And then for the, for this API, and then this is a, a table here. And then after the, after the question mark are the query parameters. And it's always going to be the form, the parameter name, and then equal. So this is a query parameter. And this are the values of it. So it looks to me like in this one, you can get um, a number of variables. And so it looks like this is appearing as the, the column names here and you can separate them by columns. Each API is going to have kind of a different format of how you would do this. This looks like how this one's set up. Then we have the at sign, and that's going to separate the next parameters. So this, this API has a parameter called four, and it looks like that is selecting, in this case, uh, variables that can take different values and, and they're doing some kind of filtering with this. So they're saying uh, the state can be anything and um, this is the next. So at sign is separating query parameters. So we also can say what time 
we are getting. So the the formatting here, you know, for what uh, states it's giving. So with this colon, you know, that is going to be really API specific. So you'd have to dig into the documentation for the census um, to figure out how they're doing that filtering. Or if you poke around enough, you probably see some examples and you can figure it out. So before I leave this, let's go back here. And you may wonder, okay, what is this uh, Nick PT and NUPT? Um, oops. Back, 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 back. So I do not know this uh, API, but as I was scrolling through, through, I did notice this thing called variables. So I would click here and I'd probably figure it out. And yeah, you can see here, this is NICPT is number insured estimate. And the other one was NUPT, number of uninsured. And you can also see now what variables that you could uh, select. Okay.